everyone, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. Today I am filming another Things I'm Loving Right Now, essentially a monthly's favorite video, but this one is extra special because I have actually some new clothing items to show off. Recently I have been doing a lot of spring cleaning. I have been clearing out my winter wardrobe and essentially donating and upcycling a bunch of things that I have had in my closet for a while that I haven't been wearing and donating them so they can find a new and better home than I was providing them. This is something I have been doing for years and years, either just donating clothes or reselling them, consignment style shops, just to continue to kind of give life to clothes that I've only gently worn and know other people will love. Something I'm really trying to focus on as well is also looking at consignment shops as a new option, like my first option for finding kind of like new season items that I want to kind of enter into my wardrobe for a variety of reasons. One, it's more affordable, but two, it's also a little more eco-conscious, kind of being more mindful about what I am spending money on and kind of reducing my footprint when it comes to fashion. With that in mind, I have been shopping recently for some new spring and transitional items to add back in. So with that in mind, I'm really excited to say I am partnering with ThreadUp for this video and for this spring transition haul that I'm gonna show off for you guys today. If you're not familiar, ThreadUp is an online consignment store and they have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of items, every store you could possibly think of on their site and they're essentially kind of reselling gently used items uh, for purchase and I have been using them for a while and I really like them because I can always find my favorite brands and styles often I find things from just last season that someone liked but for whatever reason has decided to clean out of their closet I find it there I buy it for way discounted prices and it is now entered into my closet kind of giving it a new life which I think is really awesome their site is also really easy to navigate which thrift stores sometimes cannot be you can filter by store and size and style basically any permutation you can possibly think of you can kind of sort the site that way which is awesome so you can always find like really cool and unique things Today I found a bunch of really awesome stuff I'm excited to show off. Pretty much everything is around $25. I actually have two things that are under $15, all of them from premium stores. So you just kind of really find great high quality items for super discounted prices. Before I jump in, I actually do have a coupon code for you guys. You can use the code PERUSE to get 30% off your first order. But without further ado, let the try on haul commence because I am so excited to show you guys what I have picked up from here. This is probably one of my favorite Thread up hauls, I just I just scored the best stuff. For usual, everything comes really beautifully wrapped. Uh, this time round, I really focused on finding some of my favorite basics that I wear all the time, and then also just adding like a few key pieces in to kind of fill some of the gaps in my wardrobe. Namely, I did need a dressier item to kind of add to my workwear wardrobe, so something that can be a little dressier that I can wear to evening events if I need to. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first item that I picked up I was shocked to find. One because it is something I technically already own but in a very loud and very busy pattern and it's by far and away one of my favorite dresses of all time. It's so flattering. But when I saw it on ThreadUp on in a more neutral like evening uh, colorway, not my bright pink version that I own and wear all the time during the summer, I was immediately sold. This is the best. Um, this is an and other stories dress. It's cotton, has a v-neck in the front and the back, and it has a tie waist, um, drawstring waist. Again, this is something I already own in my wardrobe and it's just one of my staple pieces of clothing. So to have found it in a neutral black color, shook, shook to my core. This is just the perfect like knee length floaty dress, super flattering because of the neck cut and something I can easily wear to a work outing if I need to, but also wear on the weekends because it's cotton, it's breathable, and it's just like one of the most versatile dresses in the entire world. And the price I found this at is just wild. This again is an and other stories dress, one of my favorite stores, and this was originally $95, which I can attest to because I own it and bought it for full price. But I found this dress on ThreadUp for $22. Literally like new condition. Um, it has the belt as well. It's so cute and I can't wait to wear this literally all of the time. You can dress this up, you can dress this down, you can wear this as a pool cover up and wear it to a nice dinner. I'm not kidding when I say it, versatile. Next few items I'm gonna show off are from Madewell. As you guys know, Madewell is my favorite store of all time. So I was able to find this tie-dye t-shirt on ThreadUp. Again, this is from Madewell. 
So this is a t-shirt I've had my eye on for over a year. I really wanted it. It sold out really fast on Madewell when it came out last spring and it was really expensive for a tie-dye t-shirt. Like this was like a $50 t-shirt online and just wasn't something I was able to justify because it is kind of trendy and inherently like it looks like DIY. <laughs> and I was actually able to snag this shirt which was originally around a $50 at Madewell for under 15 at ThreadUp. So I would say that is definitely like a really good bargain, a good sale, especially because I know this is trendier and I did not want to pay full price and be able to find it in like new condition for that sale price thrilled. Next up is another t-shirt um, but from and other stories this time and this is my favorite type of t-shirt. They sell it in a bunch of different colors and versions and I have purchased every version of this type of striped shirt from ThreadUp because I can always find them on sale there and they're my favorite. I wear them a lot. So when I saw this again for under $15 on ThreadUp I immediately bought. It's this super cute striped a bright red and pink collared striped shirt, again from And Other Stories, and this really sturdy cotton. I've had versions of these for years. They wash really well, and I already know I wear them a bunch in my wardrobe. So I loved this color combination, and I got this in a US size 8 to be a little more oversized, but I was so thrilled to find this. I love it so, so much. And again, this is from And Other Stories, original price around $48, and I got this for under 15, I wanna say at $13.99. So a really good deal, and I know something I'm gonna get a lot aware of in my wardrobe. Like, you can wear this with a cardigan by itself, I, Valentine's Day, I mean, the color of this I think is so fun, so bright makes me happy. The next item I was so thrilled to find on ThreadUp because they're so expensive IRL and it is a pair of Outdoor Voices leggings. I'm a huge fan of this brand. I have a few pair of their leggings to wear them when I go hiking and things like that. They're super comfortable but they're expensive and they very rarely go on sale. So to find a pair that you know much more comfortably in my price range plus in the cutest pattern and color they're like this blue with these dipped legs I love so much. They're adorable. They're something I wear not just like, you know, to work out or to go on a hike or a walk or whatever outside, but I also love to wear them after work or on the weekends to relax in. So finding like a pair that has some personality is always a bonus and that's why I often shop at Outdoor Voices because I really like their patterns and their styles and how they fit and everything. So this was an absolute thrill to find. These are originally $85 on OutdoorVoices.com, I think like literally right now, and I got them for under $4 at $38.99, which is a super good deal. I can't even reiterate that enough. So my last two items I'm going to show off are both from Madewell. They're both from last season Madewell and two items that I wanted to buy, but they sold out before I could purchase them. So honestly, like divine intervention here because I was able to find them now for this spring summer. Uh, but the first one is this beautiful peasant style butterfly top. And if you zoom in really closely, there's this really lovely like threaded pattern of red and gold and pink and maroon. This is just something I wear all the time. This is a classic cotton color that I wear to work on the weekends. I love that it's light fabric. This cotton is super breathable. And I love that there's a subtle pattern to it. I think it's literally like new. I'm not even sure if anyone has ever worn this. It's just so flippin' cute. And I can't wait to wear this with like high-waisted jeans and sandals in the summer. But also I feel like you can kind of layer this up to enjoy wearing now because there are like maroon tones in this. The square neckline is super flattering and totally work appropriate. And just overall, the bomb. This top was originally $98 at Madewell and I got it for under $25 at $23.99. And the very last item I'm going to show off might be my favorite item of this whole haul, though it's really hard to pick. This might be my favorite like collection of items I've ever gotten, um, but it is this beautiful green button-down mini dress that is just so me I could cry. It is the best. It's this tiered, totally mini down khaki green dress that is gonna be so wonderful to layer with so you can totally wear it on your own i can throw like a denim jacket over this wear this to work super easily i can wear a white t-shirt underneath this to prevent that sunburn during spring summer life or i can do like something super bold like this red and pink striped shirt underneath this as well this is just a classic silhouette that i find so flattering that i wear again and again in my wardrobe i love midi length dresses i think the button down of this is so cute and the color is so classic and goes with so many different things and this is something I truly know is never really going to go out of style. I mean it's a midi length classic green style dress. It's just so flippin 
cute. They're not going to believe the cost I got this for. So this dress was originally $120 at Madewell and I got it for under $30 at $28. I mean, such a good deal. So that is my thread up spring transition haul. And again, I do have a coupon code and a link I'll leave down below. It's really a great site. You can find some serious amazing deals on there. So I highly recommend checking it out. But now to jump more into the pop culture part of this video and talk about my favorites for TV, music, and TV shows. It's a big month for all of those things. Uh, first and foremost, jumping into music. I've honestly been almost exclusively listening to Halsey's new album. I really, really, really like it. First listen to, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. But by like my third or fourth, it's honestly one of my favorite albums. I just feel like it has so many different like genres she's referencing at all times that it just makes it such an interesting compilation. I've also been re-listening to Harry Styles' album because I'm getting like re-excited for the concert I'm seeing him in in like six months. So I just really love um, his new album as well. I mean, it's been out for a while, but I've just been really loving listening to it at all times, basically. I have to say, I have been in general listening to less music because I have been discovering audiobooks so much for the past like six weeks. So almost all of my music time has turned into audiobook time in a lot of instances, like during my commute and during a lot of my work hours. But when I do listen to music, I would say I'm definitely listening to either Halsey's new album or Harry Styles' new album, which have been great. Moving on to movies. So this is very exciting in my opinion. So first and foremost, I did see Birds of Prey with Clay, and this is a new DC Universe Harley Quinn style movie. And I guess DC just needs to focus on making movies with, you know, women at their center because those are the only ones that turn out being any good. Wonder Woman, this, I really, really liked it. I thought it was super entertaining, really out there, bizarre, but comically fun and I finally feel like I like Harley Quinn's character. Controversial, but I never particularly cared about Harley Quinn. I didn't like that she was like this sidekick to Joker that much. Her character just never really appealed to me, but I really feel like this movie kind of changed my perspective of her and I think she's a really cool kind of villain to root for in a way. So I really liked this movie and I thought it was a lot of fun. We also saw Miss Americana, which is the Taylor Swift documentary that came out on Netflix. I thought it was a really entertaining and it kind of provided a lot of like behind the scenes looks at Taylor Swift's career. And it also kind of reminds you that someone like a Taylor Swift is so famous that it's hard to remember that she's a human being. And I really feel like it provided a lot of humanizing elements to her character and her story and also like reminded me how young she was when she kind of rocketed to fame. The whole Kanye West thing happening when she was 17 I completely forgot about. For some reason I thought she was so much older which was obviously not the case. It kind of frames the whole thing in a much more heartbreaking way. I always feel like Taylor was a lot more like open than she has been in the past about some of her own struggles and her perspectives and her beliefs, which I thought was really endearing. Overall, just watching the music making process was really cool. And I just really liked that element to it overall as well. And to kind of wrap up the movies, I did make Clay watch Your Name. This is the second time I've seen this movie. I already know I love it but it was great to make him watch it and experience. He ended up really liking it, so we definitely want to see Weathering With You, which I think is his newest movie that's out right now, um, before you know it's out of theaters, because we both really liked Your Name, and we watched five centimeters per second too, because I felt like he needed to, you know, see both to get a full handle on this amazing director. But we do plan on watching Parasite and Jojo Rabbit soon, because they're rentable now, which just kind of like makes it's so much easier. So yeah, those will definitely be watched soon. The last category is TV shows. So for the most part, it's kind of the same. We've been watching The Americans and really liking it. So I'm just gonna kind of skip over that and move right into the reality TV part of this because that is the most important part. First and foremost, Survivor 40 aired. This has been my most anticipated reality TV show in what feels like forever. I mean, to have been given an all winner season, $2 million prize of all of my faves. Like I'm rooting for so many different characters. It's almost confusing and like heart wrenching, but I really do hope a woman pulls out a win just because a woman has not won Survivor in a while since like the mid thirties, which is a little ridiculous. So I don't know though. I love so many people. I hope Boston Rob goes early. Point is, I'm not gonna like spoil anything, but I probably will be doing recaps on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there. All the survivor goodness, because I'm gonna be recapping so much because I cannot wait. I do love Tyson. Maybe I'm rooting for Tyson. I don't know. I'm very confused, but Survivor 40 is a thing and I'm so pumped about it. I've also started watching Love Island Australia because The Bachelor US I've given up on. I find it so 
boring and I figured I just wanted to watch a good version of Bachelor which in my opinion is Love Island so I've started the Australian edition which I'm really liking in a lot of ways I like season one of Love Island Australia much more than the last two seasons of Love Island like the UK edition so good so much drama love it all so much so that has been a lot of fun and then some classic Bravo shows include Vanderpump Rules and Summer House so I'm just living my best reality TV life don't worry about me, I'm thriving. And then also there's The Circle on Netflix, which you would think would be like the most absurd and ridiculous reality TV show of all time, but it actually turns into like the most wholesome, heartwarming show that you just wouldn't expect. It really comes out of left field and I've really enjoyed that as well. But yeah, as you can see, I spent a lot of time in February watching reality TV and I have no regrets only love for myself so yeah hey guys those are all of the things i have been loving and also a look into some of the new clothes i've picked up for my wardrobe i hope you've enjoyed this video and a big shout out again to thread up for working with me and sponsoring this video and i will see you guys soon with another video soon goodbye